hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make the matching skirt for our flower top that we just made in our previous video if you haven't yet checked out the top tutorial make sure after this video you, you go check it out and today we are going to make the matching skirt which uses the same exact stitch look how beautiful the combination is and today we're going to just learn how to make a simple flower stitch skirt and let's jump into the materials all right so this is the pattern that we are going to use and for the starting chain we are going to start off with a multiple of 25 plus four chains so just make a chain that can wrap around your hips comfortably and that chain should be a multiple of 25 plus four chains so for my demonstration i will be using four flowers but for the actual skirt i did a total of six flowers all the way around and that means i started with a chain of 154 which is 150 the multiple of 25 plus the four chains so 154 for the starting chain of my skirt the actual skirt that i made but i'll be using this so that we can see the entire piece on the screen clearly so let's get started so i'm going to go into the eighth chain from the hook counting from this one one two three four five six seven and eight And into that eighth chain from the hook, you're going to place a double crochet. Chain two, skip two chains, and one double crochet into the next chain. So skip two chains, one double crochet into the next chain. Chain two, skip two chains, one double crochet into the next chain chain two skip two chains and one double crochet into the next chain so you will have a total of four spaces the moment you have four spaces you're going to place one double crochet in each of the next three chains so one two and three after this you're going to make a chain of two skip two chains and one double crochet into the next chain so you're going to repeat this until you have a total of seven chain spaces so this is one chain two skip two chains one double crochet into the next that's the second space so we want a total of seven spaces. So repeat that until you have seven spaces after the four double crochets. So those are four, five, six, and seven. So just to cross check, after your four double crochets here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven spaces. So the moment you're done with this, you're going to go into the next three spaces, into the next three chains with one double crochet into each. So one, two, and three. After this, you're going to chain two, skip two chains and one double crochet into the next so we've gone back to this sequence repeat until you have a total of seven spaces after the four double crochets this is the second this is the third fourth Fifth Sixth 
and seventh. So we have our seven spaces after the four double crochets. You're going to place three double crochets in one in each of the next three chains. So that will bring us to four double crochets here. After this, we are going to go back to this pattern. So chain two, skip two chains, one double crochet. Chain two, skip two chains, one double. And repeat that until you have a total of seven spaces. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and this should be the seventh. And after your seventh space, you're going to place one double crochet in each of the next three, uh, three chain stitches. All right, this is what you'll have. And then you're going to make a chain of two, skip two chains, one double crochet into the next, chain two, skip two chains, one double crochet into the next, chain two, skip two chains, one double crochet into the next. So you will be left with only three chains. And you're going to make a chain of two, skip over the two chains, and then into the last stitch, you're going to place a double crochet. So that marks the end of row one. Let's go into row two. Row two, you're going to make a chain of six. Turn your work one double crochet into the next stitch, which is a double crochet. So one double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain two, skip the next chain space and one double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain two, skip the next chain space, one double crochet into the next double crochet. So you will have a total of three spaces. And after this, you're going to place two double crochets into the next chain space. One and two. Then one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. So this is going to give us four double crochets after these three spaces. So we have this one, the two in the space, and the one in the stitch. Then you're going to make a chain of 10. You're going to skip two double crochets, and then you're going to place one double crochet into the next double crochet. So we've skipped two double crochets here and then place the double crochet into the next double crochet. Then you're going to place two double crochets into the next chain two space. And one double crochet into the next double crochet. Just like that. This is what you should have. Then you're going to make a chain of two, skip the next chain space and one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch. So you should create a mesh pattern until you have one space left which is this one so we're going to repeat what we did here 
So you're going to place two double crochets into the chain two space. One double crochet into the next double crochet. Make a chain of 10. Skip two stitches, one double crochet into the next double crochet. Two double crochets into the next chain two space. One double crochet into the next double crochet. And then we are going to repeat what we did here, creating the mesh pattern. So chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch. So you do that until you have one space left to the four double crochets that are together. Then from here, you're going to place two double crochets into the chain two space, one double crochet into the next double crochet, make a chain of 10. Skip two stitches and one double crochet into the last double crochet of the four double crochets from the previous row. Two double crochets into the chain two space one double crochet into the next double crochet so that's the repeat for this row and go all the way across until towards the end and i'll meet you back there All right, so we're coming towards the end of the row and I've just made my chain of 10 and one double crochet after skipping two stitches. And then from here, you're going to place two double crochets in the next chain two space. One double crochet into the next double crochet. And then we're going to create our mesh pattern. So chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to make a chain of two and skip over two chains here and one double crochet into the next chain. That will balance exactly what we have on this side. You can see we have three spaces and three spaces on this side as well. All right, after your two double crochets in the chain two space, you're going to place one double crochet into the next double crochet. And then you're going to make a chain of six. Skip the next three double crochets and one single crochet into the chain 10 space. Just go under the loop of the chain 10 chain six, skip the next three double crochets, and then one double crochet into the next double crochet, which should be the last double crochet of the four double crochets from the previous row. Then you're going to double crochet two times in the next chain two space, one double crochet into the next double crochet, And then we are going to go to the mesh pattern. So chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet. 
So this will bring us to one space to the four double crochets here. So into the chain two space before the four double crochets, you're going to place two double crochets and then one double crochet into the next double crochet. Then make a chain of six, one single crochet into the chain 10 loop. chain six, skip three stitches and into the next you're going to place one double crochet and then two double crochets into the next chain two space, one double crochet into the next double crochet and then now we've gone back to the mesh pattern here. So. Chain two, one double crochet into the next, chain two, one double into the next, chain two, one double into the next. So when you have a chain two space before the four double crochets, you're going to place two double crochets in, into that chain two space, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain six, single crochet into the chain 10 loop, chain six, skip three stitches, one double crochet into the next, two double crochets into the next space, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch. So that's basically the repeat for this row. All right, so we are almost coming to the end of the row and this is what we have. You're going to place two double crochets into the next chain to space, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, skip two chains and one double crochet into the next so this is what you'll have so we're going on to row four for row four you're going to start off with a chain of six turn your work skip two chains and one double crochet into the next double crochet two double crochets into the next chain two space one double crochet into the next double crochet chain seven skip the next three double crochets and one single crochet into the chain six space into this space next to the single crochet from the previous row. So just single crochet there. One single crochet into the next single crochet. One single crochet in the chain six space. So the third single crochet is also next to the single crochet from the previous row. After that, you're going to make a chain of seven. Skip the next three double crochets and double crochet in the next double crochet. So skip three and one double crochet into the next. Two double crochets into the next chain two space. One double crochet into the next double crochet. Chain two, skip the next space and one double crochet into the next, two double crochets into 
the next chain two space one double crochet into the next stitch and this is what you'll have then from here you're going to make a chain of seven single crochet into the chain six space one single crochet into the single crochet from the previous row and one single crochet into the chain six space after that so this will bring us to three single crochets at this point then from here you're going to make a chain of seven skip three stitches and one double crochet into the next two double crochets into the next chain two space one double crochet into the next stitch chain two one double crochet into the next double crochet two double crochets into the next chain two space one double crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to make a chain of seven one single crochet into the chain six space one single crochet into the next single crochet and one single crochet into the next chain six space chain seven skip three stitches and one double crochet into the next double crochet two double crochets into the chain two space one double crochet into the next stitch chain two one double crochet into the next double crochet two double crochets into the next chain space one double crochet into the next stitch chain seven one single crochet into the chain six space one single crochet into the single crochet one single crochet into the chain six space now from here you're going to make a chain of seven skip the next three stitches and one single one double crochet into the next stitch chain two sorry after this double crochet you're going to go into the next chain two space with two double crochets one double crochet into the next double crochet chain two skip two chains and one double crochet into the very next chain so whatever you do on this side should, should balance what you have on this side if they're not balancing that means you're making a mistake somewhere and you need to cross check so this is row four and we're going on to row five row five is I'm going to start off with a chain of three turn your work two double crochets into the very first chain to space one double crochet into the next double crochet chain eight skip the next three stitches and skip the chain seven space and you're going to place one single crochet in each of the three single crochets from the previous row just like that and then you're going to make a chain of eight skip the chain seven space and skip three double crochets one two three and into the next you're going to place one double crochet
Then you're going to place two double crochets into the next chain two space. And one double crochet into the next double crochet to make a total of four double crochets here. So you're going to repeat this all the way across. Let me just show you one more time. Make a chain of eight. Prepare for a single crochet. Skip the three stitches, skip the chain seven space, and you're going to place one single crochet in each of the three single crochets from the previous row. Then from here, make a chain of eight. Skip the chain seven space, skip three stitches, and then you're going to place one double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochets into the next chain two space. One double crochet into the next double crochet. And then from here, you're going to make a chain of eight. Skip the next three stitches and eight uh, chain seven space. And you're going to place one single crochet in each of the next three single crochets. Just like that. And then from here, you're going to chain eight. Skip the chain seven space, skip three stitches and place a double crochet into the next. So you're going to repeat this all the way across and I'll meet you back towards the end of my row. So we're coming to the end and I have finished chaining my eight. I'm skipping over the chain seven space and three double crochets. I will place one double crochet in the next double crochet and then place two double crochets into the space. And you're going to count from the bottom and place one double crochet into the fourth chain of the first chain six. Just like that. And your panel should look the same, both at the beginning and at the end. So that marks the end of row four. Let's go on to row five. For row five, we're going to make a chain of three. Turn your work. Two double crochets in the first chain two space. Sorry, we are on row six. Sorry, sorry. Row six, we are going to start off with a chain of six. Turn your work. Skip two double crochets and you're going to place one double crochet into the next double crochet. Just like that. Then you're going to place three double crochets in the chain eight space. So one, two, and three. Chain seven. One single crochet in each of the next three single crochets. Chain seven. three double crochets in the chain eight space. So I'm going to place them here. One, two, three, and then one double crochet in the next double crochet, which is this one. Chain two, 
skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next stitch then from here you're going to place three double crochets into the chain eight space one two and three chain seven one single crochet in each of the next three single crochets just like that and then from here you're going to make a chain of seven three double crochets into the chain eight space one double crochet into the next double crochet chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next stitch three double crochets into the next chain eight space and you're going to repeat that all the way around across sorry we are working in rows so you're going to repeat that all the way across So I'm chaining seven and placing three double crochets into the chain eight space. One double crochet into the next stitch. And then from here, you're going to make a chain of two and then skip over two stitches and one double crochet on top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row. And this is what your work will look like. We're going on to row seven. Row seven, you're going to start off with a chain of six. Turn your work. Skip the chain to space. And one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two double crochets and one double crochet into the next stitch so that will bring us to two spaces and then you're going to place three double crochets into the chain seven space one two and three chain six skip one single crochet and one single crochet into the next. Skip the next single crochet and make a chain of six and three double crochets into the chain seven space. One, two, and three. One double crochet into the next double crochet chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next chain two skip the chain two space and one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next 
so you can see the flower is closing up right now so um we're going to repeat that all the way across after this you're going to place three double crochets into the chain seven space chain six skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the next stitch chain six skip the next single crochet and place three double crochets into the chain seven space one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next chain two skip the chain space one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next stitch and three double crochets into the chain seven space so you're going to repeat that all the way across and i'll meet you back towards the end of my row So we are coming to the end of the row and I am chaining six, three double crochets into the chain seven space, one double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next, chain two, skip two chains and one double crochet into the next chain. And that marks the end of row seven. All right, so we are on row eight right now, and you're going to start off with a chain of six. Turn your work. Skip the next chain to space and place a double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the space, one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next from here you're going to place three double crochets into the next chain six space into this space that we created from the previous row so three double crochets in there and then you're going to make a chain of two and three double crochets into the next chain six space. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. From here, chain two, skip two stitches, one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the next space and one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the space one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the space and one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next stitch and then three double crochets into the next chain six space from here you're going to make a chain of two skip over the single crochet and three double crochets into the chain six space then one double crochet into the next double crochet chain two skip two stitches 
one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the space one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the space and one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the space one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next stitch so we're going to just repeat that all the way across until towards the end of the row where i'll show you what to do next so we are almost coming to the end of our row and i'm chaining two and three um, double crochets into the next chain six space one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next chain two skip the chain two space one double crochet into the next chain two skip two chains and one double crochet into the next chain and you should be having a total of three spaces on each edge we have three here and three here so just make sure your work is balanced all right that marks the end of row eight now we are going on to row nine row nine is uh we're going to start off with a chain of six turn your work and you're going to skip the two chains and you're going to place one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the space and one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the space and one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip two stitches and one double crochet into the next double crochet and then you're going to place two double crochets into the next chain two space one double crochet into the next stitch and then from here you're going to make a chain of two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next stitch chain two skip the space one double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that all the way across chain two one double crochet into the next stitch chain two one double crochet into the next stitch So when we get here to the four double crochets from the previous row you're going to make a chain of two skip over two stitches and one double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochets into the chain space one double crochet into the next stitch and then we go back to the mesh pattern chain two skip two stitches one double crochet into the next chain two skip the space and one double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that until you get to the next four double crochets all right so we are here and you're just going to repeat the same exact thing at this point all the way across
all right so we're coming to the end of row nine and at the end you're going to just make a chain of two and skip over two chains and into the third chain you're going to place your double crochet like that now if you wish to make this pattern longer uh you're going to repeat from rows two to nine i'll be having timestamps in the description box because uh so that you can follow along easily so uh rows two to nine two to nine you're just going to repeat that until your panel grows until the length that you want all right so we did a total of 33 rows and we have a total of four flowers upwards we have one two three and four and remember for the beginning we did a total of six flowers across but this is going to vary depending on the size that you're making for and the yarn that you're using your tension the hook that you're using just make sure it can wrap around your hip measurement comfortably well all right so when you get your desired length for your skirt you're going to determine which side you want to be the right side but basically everything is going to look the same on each end so for me, I'm going to just fold over my work like this. So I'm going to fold over my work so that the seam line of the skirt is at the back. So I'm just folding the right side to this side and the left side to this side. And I'm going to just create a seam line at the back of the skirt. So to do that, we are going to do a total of two single crochets in each and every row. So just hold like this and have your two panels meeting at the back of the skirt and do two single crochets in each and every row. Make sure your stitches are not very tight that uh, they can tamper with the shaping of the skirt. So this is what your seam line is going to look like. Go all the way down. All right, so we are coming to the end and I am placing my last two single crochets into the very last space. And I'm going to make, just make a chain of one. And you're going to turn your work onto the right side. Just flip over your work like this. Just like that. And we want to see what the seam line looks like on the right side of the work. So your seam line at the back will look something like this. You can see uh, it's almost invisible. It's along that line. So that's your seam line. Now we're going to go ahead and work the waistband of this skirt. So where you left off with the seam line, you're going to put back your hook into that loop. that and we're going to do a row of double crochets all the way around but this time we are going to place two double crochets in each and every space and for these stitches the four stitches we shall place one double crochet in each and every stitch however uh, for these standalone double crochets we are not going to be placing anything in them we shall just skip them so you're going to make a chain of three and into the the space the chain space you're going to place two double crochets and then go into the next space with two double crochets go into the next space with two double crochets what we are trying to do here is to gather the waist area of this skirt because the fact that we considered the hip measurement to create the circumference of the skirt uh, once this skirt reaches our waist upwards or the waistline this skirt is going to appear bigger 
and it will be sagging around the waist so we want to control that so you're going to go into each space with two double crochets and then into the four double crochets that are together you're going to place one double crochet into each just like that and then when it comes to the spaces you're placing only two double crochets in each and every space Okay, so we've made it all the way around and I am placing a slip stitch into the very top of the first chain three of the round. And this is what we have. You can see uh, the waistband is kind of gathered and more reasonable right now. Now we're going to go ahead and do two more rounds, but this time we're going to place front post and back post double crochets. So you're going to make a chain of three, front post double crochet into the next stitch and back post double crochet into the next. So for those who don't know how to do front post, you yarn over, go around the post, pushing the stitch to the front and then let's uh, work a normal double crochet. And then for the back post, you yarn over, go around the post of the stitch, pushing it to the back and complete your double crochet as usual just like that so front post back post front post back post so repeat that all the way around until you come to the beginning of your round and i'll meet you back here All right, so we've come to the end of the second round of the waistband and after your last stitch you will slip stitch into the top of the very first chain three of the round and now we're going to work the very final round so you're going to make a chain of three and place a front post double crochet in each front post double crochet and a back post double crochet in each back post double crochet just like that and repeat that all the way around. So this is going to create a ribbed effect as you can see here. You can see that ribbed effect on the waistband. So I'll meet you back at the beginning of my round. All right, so we've come to the end of the round and I am slip, slip, slip stitching into the top of the first double crochet of the round. After this, you make a chain of one and cut your yarn. You can go around and around for more rounds for as long as uh, you get your desired thickness for your waistband. But for me, this is exactly how I want my skirt to be. So I am going to get two strands of yarn to make the drawstring for this skirt. So two strands of yarn and I'll make a normal chain of about 200 chains. All right, so we are done with our 200 chains and I have cut my yarn. Now this is going to act as the drawstring for our skirt. And the next thing that you're going to do is get your dining needle. So get your darning needle and thread your drawstring into it and you're going to place your work in a way that the seam line that we created at the back of the skirt is at the middle back of the skirt. As you can see, it's here. So we're going to start threading, uh, weaving in the drawstring in every two stitches 
of the middle round of the waistband in and out of every two stitches starting from the center of the skirt all the way around Alright, so we've made it all the way around, uh, placing the drawstring into the middle round of the waistband and from here just make sure it's kind of balanced. Then at this point you're going to just make a knot and this is, on, this is going to adjust the waistband either to be smaller or tighter or to become wider. So from here, you're just going to make a knot and cut off the excess yarn from your drawstring. Alternatively, you can attach tassels or beads or any accessories of your choice to make your drawstring look prettier. But that's basically it. You're going to get your darning needle and weave in all your ends if you have any. And that's it for this tutorial. I'll make sure I give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to check out the written pattern on all my online shops. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one.